Welcome to Roboys Research Reviews or the Project Arcute. This is a very special episode as we will be reviewing not a paper but introducing a tool that is important to our work here at Roboy and that is the neuro robotics platform. So at Roboy we build robots that are as good as the human body. But how do we control this? Musculoskeletal systems are amazing but very hard to control. But there are tons of research going on in this area. But the true power of these systems lie in the connection to brains for neuroscience research. The reason is if we could control robots that work like the human body to simulated brains this would be a breakthrough for robotics and neuroscience as it would allow us to very quickly iterate on the interface between humans and robot and help us build better prosthesis quicker. This is exactly where the neuro robotics platform fits this grand narrative. The neuro robotics platform has the goal to allow researchers of cognitive neuroscience robotics and other scientists to make behavioral experiments in the simulation possible they have literally built a virtual laboratory in which virtual brain models from the brains can meet a body model which can be put to test in a dynamic sensory rich environment so why is this exactly interesting it brings medical neurologists and computer scientists together and we have two types of models which stand at two extremes one is the theoretical model that explains us how certain cognitive or motor or behavioral capacities come into existence and the other ones are data driven models and in the neuro robotics platform they bring these two extremes together okay that sounds great but how does it exactly work so the modeling workflow has three steps the first step is that you design your experiment by choosing the type of brain model you want to have for the type of the body model you want to have and what kind of environment you want to bring this combination in the second step is a scientific part here you have to bring the brain and the body model together you have to really choose which brain areas for example are responsible for receiving signals from your sensors or which brain areas are responsible for producing motor output with the body the third part that is actually running the experiment and this is where most of the technical solutions of the new robotics platform come into play because we have to orchestrate different types of simulators to make this possible and the neuro robotics platform has a number of tools that guide you systematically through these steps so what components does the platform offer the robot designer allows you to create body models and kinematic models The environment designer allows you to create virtual environments which your virtual animals can then live in. There is a brain body integrator that allows you to work on this difficult task of bringing the brain and the body models together. And then finally, an experiment designer that allows you to script in a very versatile way the actual running of the experiment. They have two established simulators, the Nest simulator for the brain models and the Gazebo simulator for the robotic systems. You can either use the neuro robotics platform via the web app or you can have a local installation. Now, let's get our hands dirty. We will now show you how to combine a previously designed environment and a robot model with a neural controller consisting of a spinal cord and brain model. This experimental setup will use a simplified simulated muscle system to achieve coordinated motion behavior of a mouse foreleg model. you can focus on customizing a neural network on their perception and interaction with the environment according to your preferences this environment can be created in a simple four step process but let's see a quick overview of it now a transfer function is used to translate neural activity to biophysical quantities so here it converts between the muscle fiber length and the firing rates of the motor neurons associated with individual muscles via ros In the brain editor you can specify a higher level brain model and show the loaded brain model with its neurons. If you look here the red color indicates that a muscle is activated while the blue color indicates no muscle activity. Fore limb is attached to a sled handle whose motion is controlled by a state machine. When the sled handle is moved forward the stretching of the muscles simulates the spinal cord to excite the muscles to retract the limb pushing back the sled handle to its rest position brain model loaded in the brain editor earlier can be displayed in the brain visualizer the model used consists of 700 neurons and the brain visualizer offers a number of good visualization options 
For better visibility, you can also map the brain model's neurons to different geometric shapes. This experiment is inspired by a real experiment on stroke rehabilitation. So we at Robot think the neurorobotics platform to be an essential research platform. And hence, the researchers at Roboy are integrating our musculoskeletal robots with it. The neurorobotics platform is also the brainchild of the Human Brain Project, which is co-founded by the European Union. If you haven't read about it, I mean, come on, definitely check it out. It's very exciting. I'm sure you want to read and play around with the very innovative platform, so all that you have to do is just visit neurorobotics.net. If you request full access, you can get your own account to check out the Human Brain Project portal. Also, you will be able to watch tutorials, access the documentation, use template experiments and even create your own experiment. For us, this seems to be a huge opportunity for any roboticist out there. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Roboy's Research Reviews. Until the next episode of Feed Us In.